Well, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. It's my elbow ashy. Soz. <laughs> Hi, what up? How's it going? As you can see by the title, today's video is a life update video because I just felt like it was overdue. I feel like it's been a while since I've sat down, just had a chat with you guys. Feel free to grab a cuppa um, as I fill you in on the life of Sarah the Great. As uh, people call me, and by people I mean me. <laughs> First of all, welcome, because I know there's quite a few of us new to this channel. Very exciting. Thank you for subscribing. I feel honoured. I hope I don't disappoint you. <laughs> um, or, you know, too much. You know, inevitably, everyone's going to disappoint you a little bit, so I hope I don't, like... In fact, just lower your expectations just to be just to be safe. Lower your expectations. Then then we can't really go wrong, right? How are you doing? My name is Sarah Otung. If you have been here for a little while, you might remember a time when I called this channel Sarah Sienna. I did not get married, I did not change my surname. Sienna was never my name, sorry. It's just when I started this channel, I was like a wee little medical student and I was scared so I used the name Sienna but Oteng is my name, it always has been, there is no ring on this finger as of yet, I have not changed my surname. Um, I don't know why I'm so fidgety, sorry. Anyway, I've had a lot of questions about what kind of doctor I am. I'm a medical doctor which means I treat patients, I diagnose, do procedures. I'm a junior doctor in the UK, in Wales and I work in acute medicine which is kind of like when someone comes into hospital acutely so is new to the hospital so they are being admitted so i will admit patients diagnose them on the front door etc etc and i love my job i'm super grateful for my job i absolutely love it it is the reason why i started this channel i truly believe that healthcare starts with self-care it is why i upload so many healthy recipe videos so many workouts for you guys just to encourage you to look after your body because it's such such a gift and to encourage you to be like passionate about healthcare and about life and the things that we can do, you know, we can't control everything in this world, um, but the things that we can, I believe that we must, that we should try and do our bit in whatever way that we can. And, and that's why I'm here, that's why I'm on YouTube, is to just encourage you and share life with you guys. And yeah, think of fun ways to help people. Oh, the camera's like a little bit off center. Okay, there we go. Think of fun ways to help people to look after their bodies with the information that we have. That's a little bit about who I am and why I started this channel and welcome to the Chan. If you are new, say hi in the comments. I'd love to say welcome. What to update you on? At the time of making this video, it is April, early April. The UK is in lockdown. And everything is a, is very different than it was during my last life update. Who would have who would have thought that that we'd all that we'd be here? Look at us! Yeah, look at us! Who would who would have thought? Um, and I'm not quite sure where to start on this life update. So my work has changed a lot. I feel like I'll have a lot of questions about my work. It's changed a lot. My shifts have increased and changed. Um, I'm lucky to still be working in the same department because I was already working in a department that needs a lot of extra help right now. So that is the acute medical unit on the medical team. Um, so I haven't had any drastic changes in what I do every day. Um, I know that a lot of my colleagues have been pulled from you know, their surgical jobs to a medical job. Um, but yeah, it's mainly my rotor and my hours that have been changed. So I'm doing much longer days. There's just been so many different stages to all of this. So of course I'm talking about coronavirus, COVID. Um, I don't know if any of you have managed to miss all the COVID stuff that's going on. I know that I've not really spoken about it on this channel out of choice because I don't know, I didn't want to add to the noise, but um, the more that this goes on, the more that I think, do you know what? It is important, obviously, it's obviously important, but actually I think maybe there's a unique way that I can encourage you guys and share factual up-to-date information without the fear mongering and without the confusion and just keep up with you guys and it is you know this, this is what I do every day it's quite a big part of my life right now and um, so not putting it on the channel would probably feel a little bit more unrealistic if that makes sense. Work has been changing a lot you know initially when the virus was mainly in China um, we were just kind of learning about it we'd have weekly teaching sessions on it and we were just getting prepared. As things progressed as 
everything that happened and is still happening in Italy went on. There were a lot of changes that started in the workplace. So we have different areas where we will be gowned up and fully masked. I can't wear my own clothes to work now, I wear scrubs to work. So scrubs is kind of the only laundry that I actually have been doing <laughs> for the last few weeks. There's a real community atmosphere and sense of vocation at work which you always have but it has just been heightened so much during all of this i'm so grateful to be able to work with such an incredible team of people nurses and doctors physios and healthcare assistants and cleaners i'm so so grateful uh, for the people that i work with and the last few weeks has have really just heightened that significantly um, you know i've really felt called <laughs> to do this i remember my my sister texting saying you know am i okay and 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 seeing how i was and if i was feeling scared and and i just knew in my like sense in my spirit like no i'm not afraid of all people i truly feel called to at least be the least afraid you know i i truly believe that i'm blessed to be able to do this job i'm so grateful to be able to do this job um, I'm grateful to be able to step up at this time and do more hours and I think that that's definitely a sentiment that is shared among among all the doctors and, and nurses that I've worked with. I think there's been a big outpouring of like public support as well which means a lot. There's something so heartwarming about about feeling loved and appreciated in general if that makes sense so i think that the love that's been sent towards hospitals and care workers and key workers at this time has has been so heartwarming it's been so heartwarming i mean even the other day as i was leaving for work um as i was leaving my building and i passed from the cleaners in the building i remember looking at the cleaner thinking oh thank you thank you for still working right now and keeping this block of flats clean um, and then she looked at me and we both said hi to each other you know from a distance and she just said thank you and I because I was wearing my scrub so she could tell I was a doctor and I was like thank you and there was just this real like mutual sense of appreciation for each other and then yeah I think that that's something I hope that we don't forget that we need each other so much we need each other's skills and expertise whether that's in cleaning whether that's in knowing how to make KFC gosh to all the KFC chefs out there oh my goodness I miss you so much uh, but we need each other like writers and actors and um, poetry and music makers all these different workers who have been sent home that they are not key workers and yet their work has been key in getting me through so the people who have designed social media apps the people who have made films and programs and written books that i can read for escapism like oh my goodness thank you so much i really appreciate you so so much um and yeah i think that we're being reminded how much on our own health depends on our neighbour's health, how much our own safety depends on the safety of our neighbours. I think that, that is one beautiful thing in the midst of all of this. Um, there is a lot of pain and suffering going on right now and it's heartbreaking. It's something I see at work every day. Um, but there is, there is good. There is also a lot of good that is being shown up as well. Um, and I think that we can get through this together. We, we can. Um, to any of you who are watching this, if you've been personally affected or if you're suffering right now, I just want to send you so much love. Please leave me a comment and we can, we can chat there. Um, you can send me an email. You can message me on Instagram. I know that a lot of people are going through a lot of different things right now. Apart from work, I guess apart from work, <laughs> Uh, I'm isolating at the moment, so I'm isolating from my friends and family. Um, I chose to do that about two weeks before lockdown because I was aware that I was already seeing a lot of coronavirus patients. Um, I was already at higher risk of picking something up and taking it back to someone that I loved. Um, so yeah, I haven't been doing those things for a while, which is tough. It's tough. I really miss physical contact. You know when you talk about like love languages, I've never thought I was a physical contact love language person, but I miss a hug. I really miss a hug, like seeing a friend and just, just a good old hug. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been tough, but I think I'm definitely learning a lot about myself. <laughs> I'm learning a lot about myself in this because I've always been... I wouldn't say introverted or people always disagree with me when I say introverted um, I personally think that an introvert is someone who gains energy by spending time alone whereas an extrovert gains energy by spending time with other people um, I personally tend to feel more energized after I've had a lot of alone time so I've always thought you know I love my own company I love alone time 
Um, and I do, but this situation has made me realise or appreciate way, way more how, do you know what, I actually love <laughs> spending time with friends so much. And it's something that I'm really missing right now, um, being able to see people in person. Um, and so I'm just prioritising that a lot. So I'm arranging a lot more Zoom chats and FaceTimes, um, arranging them like daily because I think I definitely need them. But work has been a really like the high is is pretty much the highlight of my day and weeks <laughs> um because i then get to like see people see colleagues who are friends and um, so i think i'm very lucky in that respect that i still get to kind of go out and lucky to really enjoy where where i live i know that there are a lot of people who are struggling right now with lockdown because they're not happy with where they live and yeah it is very tough i mean you guys saw the place i used to live in a couple of years ago and i know that if i was on lockdown there i would find that really really tough um so yeah my heart goes out to gosh everyone who's struggling with their home situation right now it makes you yeah yeah so yeah isolation is ongoing um still single i haven't quite locked down a bay during lockdown um, was not locking down when pre-lockdown anyway, so nothing has changed in that respect. What I'm up to right now is that I eat, sleep, work, repeat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I eat, sleep, I train, I pray, I meditate, I film videos for you guys, um, I cook, and I'm just staying positive and feeling grateful, focusing so much on things I can be grateful for. If you haven't watched my morning, my early morning routine, my 5am morning routine, and please make sure you watch it because there's so much good stuff in there about how to just like position yourself, how to intentionally choose your posture for the day. And a big part of that is with a moment of silence and solitude and gratefulness and gratitude in the morning um, as I read my Bible. So I've definitely been focusing on things to be more grateful for and I'm really grateful for you guys. Over the last few weeks, doing the programme with you, the home workout challenge with you, has been amazing and so much fun and I'm grateful for you guys. There's a lot going on, we live in interesting times, but we're all in this together and it make it through nailed it yeah i did just do a quick post on my instagram to ask for any questions for this life update video um so one of the questions is how is your family doing during this time um oh, thanks hi thanks for leaving a question and um, yeah my family are good my family well my parents are back home um, living together. My brother is currently in Amsterdam, <laughs> so he uh, he had gone to work in Amsterdam for a while because he does what he wants, he travels a lot. Um, so he is overseas, which is interesting, um, but he's okay, he's doing well. My other brother is doing a PhD in Oxford at the moment, he's keeping okay. He was like, you know, not a lot has changed for him, but I think that was a bit of a joke. Um, but yeah, he's, he's okay. My sister and my brother-in-law, and the two babies are doing well and um, they're sending nice like video updates of my nephews which is like low-key keeping me sane i very much miss them my other sister and my brother-in-law i'm the youngest of five by the way other sister and my brother-in-law are doing really well um yeah they're just I'm, I'm really grateful to know my family is safe i know i'm distancing from them at the moment um but i'm i'm really grateful to know that they're keeping safe and they're keeping away from risk um because yeah that would that helps me sleep <laughs> better at night just knowing that they're okay so yeah my family are good thank you for asking a lot of these questions are actually related to covid19 um, and i don't want to change this into a q a actually i just want to kind of update you guys and say hi so i will save these questions the rest of the questions for another video if you want me to do a coronavirus video or do a specific Q&A, then let me know. I think I will save these questions and answer them all in a future video. But yeah, I guess that's kind of a life update. Not a great deal to update you on, but also a huge deal to update you on, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, let me know any videos you want to see in the future in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I will just keep you updated on everything that's going on in life. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Love you so much. Bye.